What I got, you can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walk through the fire, came out better on the other side. See, life's like a beach if you find the same. And right now, I'm feeling like a hundred grand. You are listening to Inspired Insider with your host, Dr. Jeremy Wise. Dr. Jeremy Weiss here, founder of InspiredInsider.com, where I talk with inspirational entrepreneurs and leaders like the founders of P90X, Baby Einstein, Atari, Zapier, many more, how they overcome big challenges in life and business. Our sponsor today is Rise25.com, where it helps service professionals, doctors, lawyers, accountants, coaches, consultants, anyone working with clients one-on-one who want to shift away from just trading time for dollars and shift towards a one-to-many program is more leverageable. Um, You can go to rise25.com, learn more, download your free dream product ladder, which basically is a business plan on one sheet of paper that helps you see gaps in untapped revenue. Companies like Disney, Apple, the sporting industry, they all use versions of the product ladder. Justin even experienced a Rise25 event where we had barbecue together. So that was was fun. It was. (laughs) Um, so I want to introduce today's guest. I love Justin and what he does. It's fascinating. And you're going to find it fascinating too because it helps boost sales. And what Justin does is Justin Christensen, first of all, he went from bull rider, an electrician, right, to eventually yeah. co-founding Conversion Fanatics, which helps companies double customer sales and profits with A-B testing. Now, this is in all cases, so there's a disclaimer, right? But yeah. they are a full-service conversion rate optimization company. They've worked with companies like Hertz, PayPal, Investors.com, BlueJeans.com. I can rattle off a lot more. And we're going to dig deep in some of these case studies of actually what they did for these companies. Um, they help companies, if you're wondering what that means and what they do, they help decrease your cart abandonment. They help increase online sales conversions increase average order value, optimize ad campaigns, and cut out waste up to 80%. Um, He's the author of the book, Conversion Fanatic, How to Double Your Customer Sales and Profits with A-B Testing. Justin, thanks for joining me. Yeah, thanks for having me, Jeremy. My pleasure. What's been a challenging, more low moment in business? And then on the flip side, what's been a proud moment or milestone for you um because you know with entrepreneurship there's there's peaks and valleys um what's been more of a challenging or lower moment um lower moment is my old business coach calls it i peaked essentially where i was damn near on the verge of losing everything peaked um the, he calls it you you, you oh. peak essentially you've 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 hit your high point and the only way down the only way left is down and um, down the you've hit the peak of the mountain now you're going down the other side mm. and I tumbled down the other side mm. it, it was it was bad it was at a low point um, not to get too woo woo or fluffy but yeah. it was it was a bad time where um, right about when my daughter was b- born. Um, it was just a very depressing time. I just couldn't, I wasn't trusting myself and my instincts and my, mm. my knowledge from the previous, whatever, eight years or so that nothing was clicking. Everything I was doing was just not working. Um, you know, then the bills started piling up and eating into savings and doing all of that. Um, that was a big low point in my time where I, I thought it's like, oh, how am I going to pay? I had a small little office. It's like, how am I going to pay office rent this month? And um, so the the bigger upside to that was I snapped out of it. <laughs> was yeah, essentially I, I started clicking thanks to a friend. Um, he started recommending me for implementation because I, I was really good at implementing, you know, developing landing pages and, and getting the pieces of your funnel and everything into place, essentially building funnels mm. at the time. I was just, I just get stuff done. Right. Um, and he just recommended me to a couple other of his friends and I snapped out of it. I started mm. getting back in the groove of things. I figured out the niche and yeah. then people, then that's where kind of conversion fanatics mm. was born. Yeah. out of that because I kept getting asked more and more about the implementation. Pretty soon I had 10 clients myself and then mm. I was 
bringing on then me and my business partner partnered up and expanded it and brought on employees and got the big office and did all of those things to really snap out of it but it, if it wasn't for my my good buddy who's been a veteran in this in the digital marketing space to for snapping me out of it and just trusting in me when i didn't um that really helped mm. uh, yeah that's amazing and what do you think it was? You think it's just anyone who's? I mean, we all face those things at one point or another, or someone's facing it now. Is it trying to get just small wins? What What do you think that helped snap you out of it? Because obviously you you had it in you before, and then you started to not trust your instincts. What should someone yeah, do um, if if they're you know experiencing that? I think mine was a lot of that. I had now a new family to support. Mm. Um, you know, it wasn't just me and my wife anymore. Right. It was something greater than that. And I tried to push it so much. And I think I got so worried about money that it, I wasn't opening myself up to money for, you know, the lack of the mm. personal development woo woo stuff. But it, it just closed me off to so many different opportunities. I locked myself in my office and I thought I just needed to grind it out. Mm. And that wasn't the case. And then I really, what happened was, is I, found myself drinking a lot more mm. and uh, I stopped that and really helped me kind of open up. I got more, I started working on me more rather than working mm. and just grinding it out. Yeah. And since then I've, I've lost 55 pounds and wow. I've done all of these things. And I, I found, and I've actually found a direct correlation in me when I start taking care of myself, mm. I feel that business goes a lot better That's... when that's Things great. aren't going so well. I'll notice that I haven't been to the gym in a few days or a mm. few weeks. Um, I'm not eating as well. Yeah. Um, it just helps me think clearer and, and do a lot of the other things that I need to do. That's great advice. Thank you. Yeah. Because you often think just grind it out, just work harder. And sometimes it takes a step back of if you're not taking care of yourself, it's, yeah. it just makes everything go down, you know? It does because I mean your spirits aren't up. It was almost yeah. counterintuitive. I was just talking to an entrepreneur the other day, and he just got back from a vacation, and he was saying, "I need to take more vacations because I feel like I'm fresh. Like before the vacation, I get so much done, and after I'm fresh and I'm ready to go, and it almost seems reverse. Like no, you just got to grind it out and don't take the you know right. But he was well, we're feel." We're in the Gary Vaynerchuk world where everybody <laughs> says grind and hustle every day. And I'm, I'm home by 4.30 every day, you know, to be with my kids. And I'm, yeah, I get to the office pretty early, but I, I still, you know, get yeah. that balance in there rather than just, you know, there's it's always tough. something to work on. Yeah, it's tough. It's a tough, <laughs> I don't even like to use the word balance because I feel like I'm horrible at balance. But, um, well, I it, think it's great at it since you've got a practice and you run a couple businesses yeah that's bad balance on top though. of your practice that's bad <laughs> but um yeah <laughs> but personal balance to that is yeah, it, you yeah. know what i mean is another story i but. just started scheduling everything in right we've all got the same it's the cliche we've all got the same amount of hours in the day and all of this thing so yeah can't find time to exercise wake up an hour early i was at i was at kickboxing at 5 30 this morning love it and I was home when my kids got out of bed. You know, it was just perfect timing. And I do that three days a week. Mm. Yeah. Thanks for sharing that, Justin. I appreciate it. Um, on the flip side, proud moment, milestone in the business. When a proud moment milestone in Conversion Fanatics mm. was when we found somebody that can sell our service that was not reliant on me or my business partner. That's huge. That was a huge milestone for us. Yeah. We had failed twice previously. It cost us a whole truckload of money and lost opportunity costs as well as other costs. And we found somebody that can sell it and close deals without me having to necessarily be involved. Mm. So it's now that's when I figured out that we have a business. Um, because it's no longer about me. Yeah. Um, yeah, my name's on it. I'm the face of it. I've got my business partner who's there, but he doesn't, he's not, he's not the one on the videos. He didn't write the book, you know, all of these things, but, um, it, it's less about me. I'm not involved in that yeah. 
process as much anymore. Mm. What was the turnaround from not having it work to having it work now? I mean, obviously, well, a person okay. is a huge difference, but I mean, it has to do with something with training and things too. We hired a headhunter is what got us to really? do it right. We tried to go the other routes and hiring ourselves and finding it, but we bit the bullet and hired a headhunter, paid the ten grand, and they interviewed 150 plus candidates for us, and we got to interview one, and that's the person we hired. Yeah. So. Do you give them criteria? Like, what were you looking for? Yeah, it was a long screening process and everything what we were looking for and specifically what we were selling and how we wanted to sell it and all of these things. And we found that out. And then we went through kind of a two month training period with that person, kind of a probationary period. Mm -hmm. And it worked out fantastic. She's been with us for a year and a half now. Mm. That's great. Um, So Justin, last question. Thank you, by the way, this has been fantastic. I've had a a blast and I hope you have too. Um, Yeah, it's been fun. Check out Conversion Fanatics, but I have to ask, last question about, you were a professional bull rider. Wasn't professional. Oh. But I was a bull rider. Whatever. It doesn't matter. You were a bull rider. So, craziest bull rider story. You were actually a bull rider. So, like growing up or how did you get into bull riding? I started competitive bull riding at like age 13. Okay, competitive, right? Okay, not professional, but competitive bull riding. Okay. Yeah, I I did the tours. And I mean, I went to rodeos every weekend. I did did that whole thing. Um, But crazy story. Everyone's crazy story. (laughs) You um, get on a bull and that's, that's it. Let's see. The last ride that I ever did was I got put in the hospital for six and a half days. Um, got stepped on really bad. Wow. Had surgery. Did all of that Where stuff. Where did you get stepped um, on? Um, pretty much my butt. <laughs> um, and ended up with big laceration oh and had to God. get repaired and long recovery process. But I've broken ribs. I've broken toes, stitches in other places, my chin, um, bumps, bruises, everything else in Jeez. between. I've probably been on over 500 of them, and I quit. And I quit by the time I was 21. So, yeah. so anything's easier than that, right? So, you... yeah. I mean, each their perspective, I guess. But I grew up around rodeo, so it was just kind of our thing. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was, it was a big part of what I did for a long time throughout high school and in through college. Yeah. Justin, I want to be the first one to thank you. This has been fantastic. Everyone check out conversionfanatics.com and the cool stuff they're doing. Thanks, Justin. Yeah. Thank you for having me. Yeah. What I got, you can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walked through the fire, came out better on the other side. See, like a beach if you find the sand. And right now, I'm feeling like a hundred grand.